You should know, Mr. President, that the United States military is all in on this national emergency, and the great sailors and medical professionals of this tremendous hospital ship are eager to get underway and start their very important mission. As the nation aggressively responds to the coronavirus pandemic, the Department of Defense is focused on three priorities. First, protecting our service members, civilians, and their families. We are committed to taking all necessary measures to safeguard the well-being of our most important resource, our people. Second, remaining prepared to carry out our core national security missions and to defend the United States against any threat. And third, continuing to support President Trump's whole of government, whole of nation response to the coronavirus. For several weeks, the Department of Defense has been surging personnel, capabilities, and equipment to help slow the spread of the virus. Thousands of National Guard troops are mobilized across the country, conducting a variety of essential tasks, ranging from planning to logistics to medical support. Active duty units are moving critical supplies and equipment and medical personnel to some of the nation's most heavily impacted areas. The department's world-class doctors and scientists are at the forefront of infectious disease research, working alongside our government and private sector efforts to accelerate a vaccine and therapeutics for this virus. And now, in this great time of need, the president has directed the deployment of our nation's most powerful symbols of medical care and compassion, the Navy's two hospital ships, the Mercy and the Comfort. Both ships have a tremendous history of humanitarian assistance and have provided care for people throughout the world. This exceptional legacy continues as they now take care of their fellow Americans. The skilled medical professionals who will set sail on the Comfort will play a critical role in freeing up capacity in hospital beds in the New York area.